Hello children, let's go through the workbook. The exercise is given for second unit test. So let's go through it. You're having three lessons from your reader book. The very first one is lesson number four. That is today I wrote this poem. So let's go through it. I will even send the pictures on your class WhatsApp group. But let's discuss the exercises. In the word study, they have given you the paragraph. Then they have told, read the passage below and underline the informal phrases and expressions rewrite this passage using phrases that are not informal so we have to just change in the things like the way they have given Suresh always felt that vacations were the best time of the year in place of coolest time so we have to use the proper word for that best time of the year so I just selected few words it was a time he could hang out it was a time he could spend in, instead of hang out, spend. S P E N D spend with friends without any thought of classes or studies. They could all chill out. Chill out, the other word could be enjoy. They could all enjoy near the beach and wolf down, eat the delicious food at local restaurant. Each year was an awesome experience. Last year, he and his friends had checked out, found out a new amusement park. It was the funkiest place, wonderful, you can write in place of funkiest. And they had ever visited. The rides were mind-blowing, amazing, to say the least. They all had a wonderful time. So in place of these informal words, you can use these words. You got it? I'll keep it here. So these are the words. Now, write down the sentences here by reading these. Now they've written, identify rhyming words in these lines from the poem today I wrote this poem. Also write the rhyming pattern. So better the rhyming words are good and should. And the rhyming pattern would be like, see this is poem A. This word A. Good B. This is not rhyming with any of the C should again rhyming with the word b so a b c b this is the rhyming pattern and the rhyming words are good and should now they have given uh, grammar study this side they have given the group of words they have told you to find out which one is the phrase and which one is the sentence things a poem should have phrase rhyming is the only thing it's got so a sentence having a subject and verb Pritha's daughter Maya, a phrase, incomplete one, an argument started, we are having the subject and the verb, sentence. Tony and Maria are cousins, again sentence. I love Indian classical dance, sentence. Rashid plays tennis well, sentence. The annual cooking competition, phrase. So now circle the noun phrases in these sentences mm -hmm. about the noun phrase adjective phrase adverb phrase we have learned in our reader uh, back uh, reader grammar study exercises so this is only a kind of revision for that circle the noun phrases the witness refused to answer what when you're getting the answer for what the lawyers questions so this is the noun phrase i never forget to do what yoga exercises noun phrase when you get the answer for what or who what or who so that is the noun phrase here nina's sister is arriving the day after tomorrow who's arriving nina's sister so this is a noun phrase the city of rome is a great tourist destination so there are two noun phrases this one the city of rome is the great what tourist destination so this is also a noun phrase and which city is that the city of rome what is the great tourist destination? The city of Rome. So this is a noun phrase. Rohit has lost what? His house keys. Noun phrase. Mr. Call is my father's friend. Mr. Call is who? My father's friend. So this is also a noun phrase. The lady in the green dress is Mrs. Bharali. So who is there? Mrs. Bharali. So this is the noun phrase. The lady in the green dress. Ankit is a great what? Fan of cricket. So this is a noun phrase. 
Professor Qureshi is an admirer of ancient literature. So, Pro Professor Qureshi is what? An admirer of ancient literature. So, this is the thing. You got? So, then we have add adjective phrase to these sentences and rewrite them. The first one they have already done. I wrote a poem. You have to write phrase, not adjective. Keep in mind, group of words. I wrote a poem full of rhyming words. Dr. Rao is an environmentalist. So, Dr. Rao is an environmentalist of great repute. So, the underline is the adjective phrase. Grandma tells stories. So, Grandma tells stories of great interest. The campers came across a bridge. So, the campers came across a wooden old bridge. Hercules is a hero. Hercules is an ancient Greek hero. This way you can add up to make adjective phrases. So I'm going to put it like this so that you can pause and write. Next page we are having underline the adverb phrases where the phrases are acting as adverb. You're getting when, where, how. This way you're getting the answers. The inter-school debate competition held once a year. When? Held once a year. So this is adverb phrase has been postponed misha is going by train to where her hometown in kasoli so this is adverb phrase sarah spoke how in a very soft voice when you're getting how when where the answers in a very soft voice adverb phrase the ferns grew beside the cottage beside where beside the cottage the cultural program began when yes adverb of time after the chief guest arrived can you spot the boy standing beside the tree? Where? Beside the tree is the adverb phrase. She left the room when? In Or how? She left the room how? In a great haste. Quickly. Neha has been missing her classes of late. Adverb phrase. So replace each underlined word with the phrases from the box. They have given the idea. Right type of phrase within the. So is it adverb, adjective? We have to find out. So let's see. Monica is learning French. So, Monica is learning what French. So, this is noun phrase. So, we have to make this French by adding some words. Noun phrase. Monica is learning what? The language of France. This is an important document. Important. Telling more about this noun document. So, this is obvious adjective. So, we have to make adjective phrase. This is a document of great importance. The king wore his robe hastily. So, this is telling more about how he wore. So, this is adverb. So King wore his rob, the cloth, with haste. The captain is a courageous man. So, courageous telling more about a man. So, this is adjective. So, the captain is a man of great courage. The principal has arrived now. The principal has arrived now is adverb so now you can make it into at this moment our hindi teacher is a punctual man they have already given here the hint punctuality our hindi teacher is a man of punctuality adjective the train is moving very fast how it's moving no telling about verb so adverb this is the train is moving at great speed the bennets left a happy life. The Bannets lived a life of happiness. This is adjective. Here they have given you the hint. You have to select and find out which phrase. The kind of phrase you have to write. So this side we have writing. Yes, you can do for practice. The image below shows a boy who has made a drawing. Write a six line rhyming poem on it. You may use the rhyming scheme A, A, B, B, C, C like this. So this is a homework. So try this by your own. This is really interesting. After this, we are having lesson number 8, the song from heaven. Here, I have written with pencil because even I was finding out the answer, no? So, I thought I should not make something wrong. So, you can also use pencils better in the workbook. They have given, uh, but better to write with the pen afterwards. Fill in the blanks with the correct compound words. They have given the compound words. We have to see the sentence and fit the Proper compound word over there. The auditorium the stressors walked into was filled with well-dressed gentlemen and ladies. Washa bought a new pair of high-heeled shoes. The vacation was a last-minute plan. 
An open-minded attitude helps develop progressive ideas. Last year she got a full-time job. The bucket is filled with ice-cold water. Krishna's elder sister is a middle-aged lady. Our English teacher is very soft-spoken. So this way, this is the answer. I will keep it like this so that you can. Okay. This is very interesting exercise. There are some words. You have to add the word over and then you have to fit by giving this. Give one word. To cook food for too long. Overcook. Beyond regular. They have written add over to the words in the box to make new words. Then read the clues and fill in the blanks with those words. To cook food for too long. Overcook. Beyond regular hours of work. Over time. Be successfully face to successfully face a difficulty. Overcome. To fall to see or notice something. Overlook. Too heavy in weight. Overweight. To supervise. Oversee. Covered with clouds. Overcast. During the night. Overnight. To eat too much food. Overeat. To do more than what is really required. Overdo. So here I am going to do that. This is easy. It's all revision portion. Circle the adjectives of quality and underline the numeral, the numbers. Numeral adjectives. So two, this is the numeral adjective of quality, large. And this one adjective of quality, most hard working, telling more about a student. And first is numeral. The, then three of the four. Yes, this one is numeral adjective. And quality adjective of quality straight. This is numeral. Little is adjective of quality. Fifth is numeral. And tall is adjective of quality. So this is the answer for this one. Just read the sentence. It's very easy. You'll find out the meaning. Come on. This is interesting. See? See the images below. Frame questions of them being uh, beginning with interrog interrogative adjectives like what, which, whose? You got it? So let's see. Interrogative adjectives like what, which, whose? This one. There was a girl reading over there. So which book is Amin reading? Which song is Kanwar singing? Any name you can write. See the picture. What is Mrs. Sandhu buying? Whose team won the competition? Then what is Gunu feeding the dog? You can make your own sentences. This is only to tell you any relevant questions going to be considered. Now fill in the blanks with suitable demonstrative adjectives. Do you know the name of that lady in red coat? These books can be distributed among those children. I think this movie is not worth watching. That house over there is haunted. Latika was looking very pretty in that blue gown. This book belongs to the school library. So this was easy demonstrative adjectives. So you have to tell is it in the positive degree, comparative or superlative. When you compare two things, comparative when only about that thing. That is positive and superlative like more than two. When you compare more than two things. Your brother is taller than you are. So comparing two. So this is comparative degree here. Taller. Which university offers a good degree course? So telling about only that. No, no, no comparison is there. So positive degree. The second half of the play was more interesting. So more interesting. Second half. It's comparing with the first one. What is the longest, the longest superlative you have ever run? This clown is not as funny as, as funny as positive. No comparison is here. The other one. Harleen is the most talented, most is telling you the superlative. So these are the degrees over there. Then they have given, replace the adjectives, good. They have already given good over there. With these, in these sentences with other words from the box. Fast food looks good. Fast, fast food looks appetizing. But it does not have any health benefits. Food items like chips and burgers contain generous portion of fat in them. It is not advisable to eat high calorie food. 
junk food lacks nutritive value so this is the answer for this one this is all a kind of a revision and when you read this is really going to be the exercise for your brain so before seeing the answers try to do by your own then we have here this side write a dialogue between Caroline and Joseph sharing their experience of singing at the concert and meeting the king and queen of Saxony to make dialogue interesting and informal use contractions such as the way they have given avoid repeating the names of the characters too often don't give one character very long dialogues allow the other character to interrupt or add something so they have given you the hint you can do by your own then we have lesson number 10 the hen in this term in this one they have given the word study they have given you the words over there in the box and then they have told rewrite the sentences below by replacing the underlined words yeah with the words from the box laughed quietly chuckled the little baby laughed quietly the teacher noticed that tim was neglecting his work notice observed you have to write full sentence in paper the workers were displeased with the new office timings the children yeah screamed with delight exulted they when they saw their cousins screamed with delight they were so happy the grumpy boy said something under his breath muttered the grumpy boy muttered then they have given the words over there you have to add these prefixes this we have done in the i think in the reader yeah word study there we have done you have to make the opposite words make the opposites of the words by using these prefixes in this i am or you and mature immature pardonable unpardonable approve disprove disapprove harmony disharmony important unimportant agreeable disagreeable grateful ungrateful decent indecent decent indecent fortunate unfortunate tidy untidy patient impatient visible invisible then you have to use the models given over there you have to choose i dash to do my i dash do my homework before i go out with my friends i ought to must it means before i go out with my friends rashi dash always help others even as a king kid rashi would always help others even as a kid this one dash i keep my notebook on your desk can i keep i am sure nohid dash have helped me if she were here would i am sure nohid would have helped me the principal will announce the name of the head girl archita could stay at my house if she wants to could you pass me the salt my mother would like to meet the class teacher kara must submit a permission letter from her parents to go to the summer camp they have given you the choice very easily you'll find out which word fits over there should i call up the customer care for the bank use suitable models from the box to write sentences from these pictures better you can use your own 